The second I saw Gilmore go down, I knew Gretzky would get away with it. That night in 1993, the nation mourned because all of English Canada cheers for the Leafs. I'm assuming I've never been outside of the GTA. Oh, it was absolutely a conspiracy. Gretzky moving toward the net now. The shot, that's blocked. When Gretzky went on to score the eventual game winner, I realized I wouldn't be having sex with my husband for months. There's no way Carrie Frazier didn't see it happen. It just doesn't make sense. At full speed, in the highest pressure situation possible, Human referees just don't miss those kinds of calls by accident. They didn't even bother to cover their tracks. It's amazing how blatant officials can be. They assume we're just not paying attention. Month after month, every time he'd come close to an erection, he'd see that high stick out of the corner of his eye and then it was down faster than Gilmore. They were always so lenient with Gretzky. They just wanted to hand LA a cup and let him break Howe's scoring record. Eventually, after years of R&D, we finally figured out the only thing that could help him was my cat's blood pressure medication. People say I'm crazy to still be dwelling on it. All those phantom second assists he got, and they wouldn't let anyone hit him. Worst of all, they let him play with two sticks. But I absolutely believe the CIA killed Kennedy. And that's how the 1993 Western Conference Final was the start to my years-long journey into developing and eventually releasing Viagra. Wait, we're talking about the hockey game that happened 24 years ago? Who gives a fuck? The abs would have crushed the leaves anyway. <laughs>